plan B. <laughs> no, but seriously, y'all. Okay, so I see some of y'all. Y'all was like, man, I can't post it. I can't post every day because I got to work. And then sometimes I be trying and I get... Let me tell y'all, when I said I was quitting DoorDash, a lot of y'all was like, don't quit DoorDash. You need to keep that as your plan B. I don't believe in plan Bs. Fuck a plan B. Okay? For real. If it, If you want something in this life... You look at option one, you look at option two. You can't do both. You have to decide on which one you want to believe in. Do you want to work that nine to five or do you want to focus on what it is you got going on that you really want to pop off? Because you're not going to have time for both. I'm telling the truth. When, when I was door dashing, I was posting content every day. Delivering the orders I was delivering every day. I couldn't, couldn't work a job if I wanted to focus on DoorDash. It was one point in my life where all I wanted to do was DoorDash. And people were like, you need to get a job. And I'm, I don't want to work at Amazon. I don't want to get a job. I want to do DoorDash. Why? Because DoorDash was the open door to get me to freedom. And I knew this. And everybody around me was telling me to get a job. No! I know what I want out of this life. Let me tell you. Let me sit down. Let's talk real quick. Because DoorDash was a blessing to get me to my... I made $9,000 this month on YouTube. Okay? $6,000 last month. I had car problems. I had car accidents. Tires and nails in my tires at least three times a month. You need to get a job. I said, No. DoorDash is my blessing, and I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it because I because this was my this was my freedom, this was my door to where I wanted to get to in life. I don't care if I had to work 12, 15, 16 hour days, 18 hour days. I worked 24 hours in one day before. You're going to see that she made a decision to leave. Um, her job to do this. YouTube creation. I got no problem with that. My issue is. The amount of money that she thinks is life changing. And this is all love though. If you ever see this. The amount of money you think that's life changing. First, that's going to be hard to keep that up with the kind of content you make. And also, I don't think quitting your job. I still I agree with the other individual. I don't think quitting your job was the way to go. I think you definitely should have stuck with your job because then you'd be making two incomes because to be honest, making a video every day on YouTube does not take that much time. Now, I don't know if you have a side hustle. I watched your recent videos. I don't see that you have one. But even making YouTube content and based off the length of your videos, it does not take eight hours a day to make the kind of content you make. Now, this is what I was talking about when it comes to being a talking head. It doesn't take that long to make those type of videos. Now, I don't consider, I consider myself a commentary channel, a commentary live stream, because I always commentate on videos that I see, and I have to research these videos first, because I have to watch, there's a lot of videos that I watch that you guys don't see, because I, I, I think they're not matching what I want to talk about, so I try to put videos together that make sense together. So anyway, it does take me some time to do that, but I do that throughout the day, you know, and when I'm at work. I do all this stuff at work and I pick what videos I want to watch. I put down the timestamps of what I want to, what I want to talk about. And then I go from there. That does take some time, but I can still do all of this with a full-time job. Because think about this. If you work an eight hour job every day, right? Most people are awake 16 hours. Some people may, you know, I get it. Some of you guys may go to bed and you don't sleep eight hours. You sleep nine and you got to factor in the time it takes for you to get up. And the time it takes you maybe to, when you get off work, to get home or relax. I get there to commute. So let's say you work eight hours a day. That gives you eight hours outside of work to do what you need to do. Or if you work a whole, not if you actually work a nine hour day, that gives you a whole another seven hours to do what you need. Let's take out three hours for commuting, eating, stuff like that when you get off work or before you go to work. So let's take out three hours. That gives you four hours to do something. I've worked a full-time job for a while in made content creation. I mean, in made content creation. In made YouTube videos. And I could tell you from live streaming takes me a little bit longer because I have to sit here in front of the camera and I have to plan this out a little bit more. 
Uh, but to make a video where I just talk, when I, I mean, I just sit down in front of the camera and just talk, God, that takes me 30 minutes. That It takes no time to do that because it doesn't take you any time because these people aren't writing notes. They just sit down and say, this is what I'm going to talk about. I'm talking about these talking heads that we just saw today. So I don't, so for 30 minutes, most at an hour, if you talk a whole 50 minutes, it don't take no time to <laughs> upload it to YouTube. I can upload a video in a probably about 15 minutes. Okay. So I'm talking at the most an hour, an hour, 15 minutes to make a video. So for an hour and 15 minutes, that means you still have roughly 15 hours a day to be doing something else because you're not going to work. It's just your full-time job now. You don't go to work. It don't take eight hours to make a YouTube video unless you're a documentary style YouTuber like iNabber. That's a little different. I never made a seven hour fucking video. Blessings to you, brother. He's not dead. I don't know why I did that. But I <laughs> I never is so impressive to me. A seven hour video. Now, if you make a seven hour documentary style video, that's going to take you a few weeks to put together easily. I remember how long it used to take me to make those kind of videos. It takes a lot of editing and a lot of research. You get so seven hour videos. You're probably gonna have to watch 60, 70 hours worth of content. I'm serious to get that because you're, you can't just watch the videos and you can't talk about a video you haven't seen the full thing because the last thing you want to do when you make those kind of videos is take things out of context. So you want to make sure you know exactly what was said in the full context it was said. So that means you have to always watch damn near the whole video. Every videos I did, I have to watch whole ass live streams to make sure I didn't take things out of context. So I'm saying this to say this. I'm saying that to say this. There's no reason to quit your job if you make videos like this. It doesn't take 15 hours to make a video like this. You, you could be making more money doing that and doing YouTube. If you don't like to do DoorDash, just go work another job. If you're making enough money from YouTube, let's say you're making two, let's say she kept up the $9,000 a month, then your production value should go up. There's no reason you should make these kind of videos. If you can consistently make $9,000 a month on YouTube, then you could double that, triple that. With the money you're making, if that's if you're if you're making seven thousand more dollars, or let's say you were making four thousand dollars a month with DoorDash, and now you're making nine thousand dollars, that's five thousand more dollars. Just live off the four you used to, and then use that five to push your fucking YouTube channel to the stratosphere. You don't want people to be able to keep up no more. You take that money to be like, oh, with five thousand dollars, shit. I'm not saying go get a house, big ass house, and nothing, but be like, hey, I'm gonna get this, 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 this. You ain't got to spend it all at once, but just be like, okay, I'm going to take a thousand of that and put it towards this. And if you got loans, pay that off. But if you got, if you got, I'm talking about this is money to spare. You still use that 4,000 to keep taking care of your bills, keep paying off loans, credit cards, $5,000, you can put back into the business or take half of that, put it back into the business. Use a little bit to do whatever you got to do. All I'm saying is that extra money, you shouldn't have quit with that. Because you could have had even more money. You could have been making the same money, $9,000 a month, and you still got 15 hours. You could go work a side job, 20, 20 hours a week. 20 hours a week, and you could pick whatever job you want. Because it doesn't have to be a job you hate because you don't need the money like that. So you can go work a 20-hour job and be like, damn, you know, I'm just getting this bread. Now I got 9000 on top of 2000 a month. Now I'm making 11000 and now I can use my part-time job or my YouTube, whatever, which one you ever want to pick. Use a little bit of this money. Once again, get yourself out of debt. And also use this $2,000. Be like, hey, I'm going to throw that back to the business. It's the same thing Kai Sinat did. Push this shit to the stratosphere. Same thing you see other channels do. They take it, put it back in the business. You go from you to now there's three of y'all. Now there's five of y'all. Now there's 20 of y'all. Now you got a whole fucking business you got going on. YouTube ain't just a, nothing. Now you got eight. You got multiple sources of income. You got merch. You got a podcast. You got streaming over here. You got pop. You got you, you're, you're collabing with people. You still go to speak at events. The money could be endless. But I just feel like people miss out on this opportunity because they just quit their jobs. And it's like, fuck, that extra money can help you because you don't it don't take you 15 hours to make videos. It don't. I couldn't do that. Though. I'm happy I got my job. I don't care if I was waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning and going to sleep at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night and sometimes not getting sleep because all I was doing was DoorDash. But I knew that DoorDash was my blessing to where I really wanted to be in life. And so I said, man, I really want to do YouTube, but I don't have time to put no makeup I don't have time to put no wig on. And God was like, 
just record, just post your DoorDash content. Just post deliveries. I'm like, who wants to see me do deliveries? Thousands of people. But see, my thousands of people didn't want to see me do deliveries. That was other people's because I started searching and I started seeing thousands of people really want to watch people deliver food all day. And so I'm like, okay. So I got serious about four months ago, four months ago, four months from, from now. I said, okay. So I started waking up in the morning, getting in my car. Hey, y'all, we door dashing today. We got the order. Can I please get my order, boo, boo? And I, I just started posting it on YouTube. And I went from like 50 views in, in a day to 200 views in a day. And I'm like, oh, my. And so I kept doing it. And then one day I just started talking about my nine to five experience and how I hate it. And I hate it. I didn't want to go back to a job. Everybody telling me to go get a job. I don't want to get a job. <laughs> and I started talking about potlucks and how I was getting sick at potlucks and how they wanted us to watch PowerPoints unnecessarily and how people was, you know, people, I didn't want to work. I have, I don't want to work a nine to five. I don't want to work a job. I, I want to focus on my freedom. And I started talking about that. And that video went viral. And I'm still posting my Dash and Diaries, but they're not really getting but 400 views probably in a day. Not to say they wouldn't have grown, but I had to sit and talk to myself. And I said, yeah, I love DoorDash. Uber Eats, Grubhub was a blessing. But do I really want that to be massive? Because this was just, that was just the open door to what, to freedom. I, I never really wanted to do that forever. Who wants to put 50,000 miles on their car in three months? Who wants to do that? I want y'all to keep this in mind because this isn't a young person talking. This is a person who's 42 years old. 42 years old. Um, To be honest with you, you say that, but if YouTube had not popped off for you, that's what you would be still having to do. I commend you for working 13, 14, 16 hours a day. But some people don't have that choice or that option because there is no YouTube. They don't want to be a YouTuber. So guess what they got to do? They're 42 years old and they got to do this every fucking day. So those people will tell you, I would rather work my nine to five and all that kind of stuff. Listen, not everything somebody's trying to say is trying to hurt you. They're not trying to bring you down. Some people are just saying, man, how long can you do that for? You just said yourself. That you were putting three, what, fifty thousand dollars on a car in three months? You just say yourself you didn't want to keep doing the DoorDash. That's what they were saying. You working all these hours is a quick, and you're even saying that you haven't even made the kind of money you make on YouTube that you make doing DoorDash. So the point is, these I feel like these people were trying to tell you that you can't sustain that. 16, 13 hour days, yes, you can do that. But what you're saying it sounds like it's unsustainable. Maybe they knew you personally. I'm saying the same thing to you when it comes to this YouTube shit. You may be getting these views now, but it's very, it's not sustainable to me. And I could be flat out wrong. And I'm per perfectly fine with being wrong. But you know something that I just thought about? Lord Herc contradicted himself when it came to DoDash. So Lord Herc, he said, you better not quit your job. While you're doing YouTube. He said that. That's the reason he had the job. You know, he got a job. He said one of the reasons he did that is because YouTube isn't always sustainable because it's so up and down. You can have a great ass month. You can have a great ass year. In the next two, three, four years, pew, boom, it all blows up in your face. And now you got to go back to work. So he's commending her for what it sounded like. He's commending her for this. Maybe. Let me not say that something he didn't say. He didn't say that he was proud of her quitting her job. I think he made this video before she quit her job. But even then, Lord Herc said it himself. And this is a Lord Herc has over 800,000 subscribers. If he has the credibility to talk about the money, it's going to go down. My question is, where do you go from there? And I want to see DoDash succeed. But what Lord Herc said and what Addison said, and now DoDash is saying, guys, you cannot succeed long term. This is you, and this is the thing about content creation. 
I, what I always say, what are you in this for? How long? For me personally, I said, for, for a fact, when I started, I, I got to go at least 10. That's the floor. I'm going to go at least 10 years bare minimum. Now that I'm in it and I've seen how I like it, I said, I got to do this at least for 20, 25 years. If I, the older I get, if I make it, and I believe YouTube will be around in 25 years, oh yeah, I'm going to do this for another 15 years. But I'm not just going to stay here on YouTube. I'm going to keep blowing up to keep pushing myself into a place where I said, like one day I can be pushing the envelope, whatever that is in my life. And I want to one day be maybe possibly on live TV or be speaking on public stages. I got, I got aspirations. But if you're not in this for the long haul, you've got to always be thinking, hey, what can I do to keep being relevant? What can I do to keep YouTube going? What the content you're making, though, is not sustainable for a long career on YouTube. I could be flat out wrong, but I have yet to see, and I have been a YouTube guy for a long ass time. I mean, guys, I don't watch anything else but YouTube. I do not watch Instagram. I don't go on Facebook to watch creators over there or Instagram over there. I don't watch Netflix. I don't watch Hulu. I don't watch Prime TV. I don't watch Peacock. I don't watch anything but YouTube. So I have seen a ton of creators. Obviously, I can't see them all. But I've yet to see a big YouTuber. And when I say big, 100,000 plus, big, 100,000 100, plus YouTuber that makes this kind of content that just random talking and still succeed. I think Emma, Emma Chamberlain can do this, but Emma Chamberlain is damn near a celebrity. Yeah, there's some people who could do it if they're already huge. Glorilla, yeah, she could make content like this, no problem. Megan, the Stallion, Doja Cat, Doja Cat live streams. These people can do this, and it's, it's going to blow up just because they are them, but they're already celebrities. For us average people, it's not sustainable. I don't, and guys, can y'all just hear me? Like, I want you to take it down the logical road. Take it to the exact extreme. Because now that she doesn't have DoorDash, what else can she talk about outside of being a content creator? Like, where do you go from there? How many times can you talk about how much money I made on YouTube? How much time can you talk about, hey, guys, I can do this with the money I made from YouTube? How is that going to continue to push your channel forward? Because your content is now about content. That won't work. I've already told the story of YouTubers I know who make content about content. I know a, a person right now with 300,000 subscribers. I knew the person when they were way smaller, but they made content about making content and it blew them up for a little bit, even though what they were saying wasn't true because their content was about making content. So it was a lie. You don't know how to make content because you don't make any. You're, you just talk about making it. But nonetheless, I digress again. This person has 300,000 subscribers today. I went to go watch their videos. They made a video that got 630 something views. I could be wrong on the number. I know it was very low. It was definitely 600 or lower. 637 views when you have 300,000 subscribers. You know, the, I mean, that person's money went from here to probably $10,000 a month to easily 1,000 a month. Easily. And based off the views I'm seeing on that channel, it had to have gone down to like $200 a month. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It happens all the time on YouTube. You can be relevant and be dead in a month. I mean, it's just, it can happen that fast. And if you're bad with your money, it's really going to go. Um, so I just, I think personally, I would have worked my job for another year and a half or at least two until I knew the money was there because now all the money you have is coming from one location. Now I could be wrong. She could have two, $300,000 saved up. She could. Based on what she said, doesn't sound like that because she said her car was breaking down and she just made a video talking about she can go to Target now. So I don't think she had that much money to say that. But based off what I'm hearing, this money is all the money you have. Meaning all the money, all your income is coming from YouTube now. That's that's not good. Only people who can do that with YouTube are people, like I said, who are consistently, their, their floor, their floor. If, honestly, on YouTube, your floor is $5,000. That's your floor. Like no, during a month that's going to go by, you don't make 5000 because of the content you make. I just don't see that. I just don't see this kind of content floor being $5,000 a month. I don't see this content 
surviving. I'm saying this all out of love, too. I'm saying this all out of love. I want to see every content creator make it. But I just want to make sure that people understand that you can't just do that. Who who wants to do that to a 2023 Toyota Corolla? Brand new. That somebody bought for me because of how hard I go for food delivery. They bought me a car because I was paying them $120, $30 a month. I mean, I'm sorry, a day for for the rental car, which added up to $5,000 a month for a rental car. And it was like, nah, bro, we can't have you putting 8,000 miles on our car like that. So they, well, they didn't say it like that. But he bought me a brand new car with 8,000 miles on it. Toyota Corolla. I put 50,000 miles in that car in three months. And I said to me, I said to myself, nah, this ain't it. Nah, uh-uh. First of all, this is a nice car. Second of all, I'm going to need a new one in a year if I keep doing this. Third of all, no. Nah. So I said, you know what? Let me go hard with my YouTube. Let me see what happens with this. And in three months, I grew over 50,000 subscribers. And I finally got monetized on YouTube. But I was a little, I didn't really want to monetize. So I was like, y'all think I should monetize? They was like, why not? And so I hit the monetize button. Y'all, my, my first month, over $6,000. I say, y'all, I'm done with DoorDash. This was always a blessing and an open door for me. But I can't do this forever. I, I cannot. And I do miss showing my full personality, but I feel like I still show that. And then people were saying, you shouldn't give up DoorDash. You should keep doing it. I said, well, people were telling me to get a nine to five. <laughs> so, and I said, you know what? Focusing on YouTube full time. Because you, you can't be doing two different things at once and expect what you really want to pop off to pop off. So some of y'all who like, I want to be a YouTuber, but I got this job. I'm the kind of person, I'm, I risk it all. Got to be homeless. I was almost homeless because I wanted to do DoorDash. And I, I said, I'm going to live in my car. It's cool. But this is what I want to do. And you, it's, but see, some of y'all can't do that. But I made the decision to not have kids. I didn't want no kids. That was my decision. I didn't want to be married. That was my decision. You know? Didn't want to be married, huh? But, uh, that's a, that's a video for another day. But nonetheless. So, once again, though, it sounded like you made a poor decision. You made a decision to go homeless for DoorDash at 40 years old? That's not a good decision. Uh, you're 40 years old and you're broke. Let's just call it what it is. You're 40 years old and you're broke. Um, so that's why 6,000, it's going to sound so foolish of me to say, I I, I really know this sounds stupid. $6,000 a month isn't a lot. It is for, it, it, it can be, but at 40 plus, $6,000 a month is, that's, and that's more than the average American. I'll tell you that. But to me, it's not enough to quit a job. $6,000 a month isn't enough to quit a job. Because that's six thousand dollars coming off an unreliable source. And that's what I mean, guys. I, when I say six thousand dollars a month, I don't mean that for people who make that much money at a regular nine to five. Six thousand dollars a month on YouTube—that's not enough, because that number can go down. If that's your peak, or her nine thousand dollars a month—if that's her peak, that's not enough. Yeah, that's only fifteen thousand dollars in two months, <laughs> unless you can maintain that. It's definitely not going to be worth it. But let's go back again. Because she mentioned once what I said earlier. You, uh, once again, they, she said, I can't do this forever. But then she gets, she's trying to say that people are saying to her, don't quit your job. But then you said that people say, don't do, you say you should do your nine to five. Your nine to five. When people were telling you to do the nine to five. Because they said it wasn't sustainable what you're doing. You just said it yourself. It wasn't. 
You working all these hours to be financially free didn't work. Because how many, how many, let's be honest with ourselves. You would have to work DoorDash extensively to get uh, to where you need to be. And like you said, it's just too many miles to put on a car, which is why most people don't do it 13 hours a day. If you're having to work, there's nothing wrong with working 13 hours a day. There are people who do that. Most Some people put in their whole 16 hours and they go to sleep when they get off. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Very hard to sustain, depending on what kind of job you have. Obviously, if you have a sit-down job or something like that, and you kind of work out a little bit, you can do that. Obviously, you're going to burn out at some point, but that people like that, especially people who are at the very top, like CEOs and stuff like that, where they, they do work all day, they tend to you know have enough money and they take vacations and stuff like that, and it all works out. And they need it. I mean, it's an obsession for them. That's the only people I know who work 16-hour days on a consistent basis or people who are obsessed with it. And they're not going to stop. They don't give a fuck. They want to keep it going forever. They they need work. It, it makes their blood pump. They need to work long hours. That's just who they are. They don't. They like the money, but they like working more. Um. So, so it's just, it's, oh man, it's just, the, it's not, the people who, who are telling you not to do this aren't coming from a place of hate. It is just not smart. It's just flat out not smart to continue down this route. Now, let me talk about her. She said, fuck having a plan B. She just said earlier, she didn't have a plan B when it came to the whole door dash. She was homeless sleeping in her car. That's not a good look. That sounds like a person who doesn't know what they're doing at 40 plus. You should not be at the point where you have to sleep in your car. I understand life happens. I get that. But she said she was unmarried, no kids. You should have far more money at this point. Um, so I'm just going to be honest. It doesn't sound like you make the most financially stable decisions. So please just sit back, take a listen to the people around you. And if these people are your friends, they're probably telling you the truth. Like, we know who you are. Don't just dive into this. Now, th that's the big thing I really wanted to talk about today was manifestation, not having a plan B. In entrepreneurship, it is very hard um, to live with that mindset of not having a plan B because you are going to put yourself out there and you may go homeless like she did. And there's a good chance that you're not going to come out. The most people aren't going to make it guys. So at some point you got to ask yourself, if you want to do this life guys and say, you don't want to have a plan B, then put your fucking money where your mouth is. I'm talking like, fuck, you better go the fuck in. And like, maybe you might do what she did. You better go homeless for that shit. I'm talking about, you really want to say no plan B. I'm talking about motherfucker. Don't have a backup plan. You better put every single second you have free into making yourself enough money where you ain't got to be out on the streets. If that's what going all in is, then I, I can respect that. But I'm talking about really do it. Not, well... I got a little bit of time today, so uh, I'm not going to work on my craft. I'm not going to try to make no sales. I'm not going to go to no doors. No, 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 no. You want this shit for real? You people who want to be full-time consecrated, you want to quit your job such as you do? You want to do this shit for real? For real? Those whole 16 hours that you're not sleeping, don't know how long you sleep. But if you sleep eight hours a day, that gives you 16 hours. So let's just say you got 16 hours. And we can take away two hours for you waking up and blah, 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 shit. Let's say you got... 14 hours a day. Your content. See, this is what I'm saying, guys. You got 14 hours a day. You ain't got a job. And it takes you, your, 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 your videos of what? 10, 20 minutes long. This video right here is nine. How long do you think it took her to make a nine minute video of just talking? N no edits. Like you said, no editing. No, 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 no commentary. No reaction. Just nine minutes. All you got to do is, hey, guys, that's guys. Less than a fucking lunch break. So you're trying to tell me in the 15 hours you had, all, the 14 hours you had, all, well, you had 15 because, I mean, you made a nine minute video. That's less than a lunch break. So in the 14 to 15 hours you had all the day to be working on YouTube, this is what you got. I'm, I'm fucking serious. Let's talk about it today. And I'm not talking to just y'all. I'm talking to my fucking self. If you got 15 hours a day to make YouTube videos, and this is what you give that's going all in on YouTube is a nine minute video talking about going in on YouTube. That ain't a fuck enough. I ought to see hour long videos and I'm fucking serious. I don't care if you got to make shit up. 
An hour, because nine minutes is not long on YouTube. Your ad revenue is less with the less video, the less length it is. You need to make longer videos on YouTube because you get more money for more people watch, even if you have less people watch. But not back to it. For in 15 hours a day, I better be seeing all types of fuck. I better see two, three hour videos. <laughs> I better be something. That's why I say I fuck with iNabber. Y'all need to go check out that channel. I'm sure you've already heard of him. I never putting out seven, three, two, two, three hour videos. That's something I could be like, okay. And but th those those videos are way, way, way produced. So you know he's putting in the work. But if you got 15 hours a day to put into YouTube every day, I better see a nine minute video. That ain't enough. <laughs> I, I gotta see voice you. I need to see multiple videos a day. If you're going to make videos that short, I need to see five, six, seven. Because I know what my brother Anton Daniels, shout out to Anton Daniels, who's been doing this YouTube shit for a long time, and he's still a software engineer. He's still got a full-time job. But see how that motherfucker works. He got. He still is a software engineer, puts out five videos a day, and does two live streams a day, a morning show and a night show, live streaming, does some of his live streams with a panel, puts out 20 videos a week, and still has time to put into his Patreon to teach his Patreon people. I'm part of the Patreon. That's a motherfucker I can be like, okay, I mean, damn. Five videos a day. He talks about all types of fucking subjects. It's almost impossible to see. He talks about so much, like, it's hard not to watch him. Because it's like, damn. Like, it's not like he's just talking about the same shit. He's got so many different shit he got going on. 20 videos. I still get live streams from him if I want to watch the morning show. I live stream at night to listen to the panel. And I'm getting all these fucking videos. Plus, he's a software engineer, so he still has something else to offer me. And he knows how to invest in all this other shit. That's what he does with all his long ass days. So, no. Though, once again, out of love. You got 15 hours a day. I better be seeing more than just one video. A fucking day. You better be putting, you better be putting in some extra fucking time. Sorry, I'm going back to this right quick. But it still hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Today they put out two videos. I need more than that. Five. Yeah, 15 hours. One minute's 10. And another... Oh, okay. I can respect this last video. It looks like a vlog. But nonetheless, that's better than nothing. That's what I want to see, though. 46 minutes was your last video. I need to see 46-minute videos when you put them out. 46 minutes. And honestly, we need about two of those. At least, bare minimum, two day, 40 minutes apiece. Because you got 15 hours. You got 15 hours. You got me. Let's say you keep making that $9,000 a month. I ought to see something good. And I don't want to hear about YouTube no more. Create content about other shit. Talk about your fucking life. These last videos... YouTube, YouTube, videos, YouTube, YouTube. I don't want to hear about YouTube no more. You're already on YouTube. Make some content that's going to change people's lives. You got the money. Talk about other shit. You've got a wonderful opportunity to change not just your life, but people in your life. I know you're not married or have any kids, but people in your families, your friends. You can bring them up with you and make them make money. You can build a whole fucking empire, though. It's right at your fucking hands. It's right there. So with these 15 hours a day that you got now, oh, my God, what you can do with that. Especially if you say, let's just say, like I said, let's say I'm a fucking hater and I'm stupid and I don't understand YouTube at all. Take the take that $9,000 that's going to go to $20,000 next month and stay that for the rest of your life or stay that for the next year and you'll be making 100000 Let's just say I'm a dumbass. It doesn't matter. You've got a wonderful opportunity to take this $9,000 a month and change your fucking life because YouTube is still a baby. Remember, YouTube has only been around 20 years now. That's, that's a baby. You got to if you compare it to other companies. Remember, Google came out in the 90s. Internet Explorer, you know, it's gone now. Internet Explorer came back out there. PlayStation, Xbox, those are still places that came out years ago. So YouTube is still a baby. This can take you to the fucking moon. So take those 15 hours, change your fucking life. If you're going to go full on into YouTube, make sure your videos are longer, make more videos. And honestly, you better start live streaming or something. If you're not a live streamer, I get that. Not everybody can live stream. That's one thing I don't tell people to just do. 
You can't just live stream. Okay, live stream is a, a different animal. Get out there and make those fucking videos. And I mean, you better talk about everything. I need to hear story times. I don't care what you got to do. This is your opportunity, though. For us motherfuckers who haven't made it like you, please take this opportunity and change your fucking life so you can be another one of the ones who made it out of the traditional work world. But that doesn't mean you work less. That means you work smarter now. Now you don't have to put all your time into DoorDash. You can put all your time into YouTube and make that 9000 go to eighteen. Make that eighteen go to $100,000 a month. It is fucking possible. You can be the one, though. Do this shit. Change some lives.